Hello to the people of YouTube. The British High Court recently decided that the government could not leave the European Union without a vote in Parliament. This video is about some of my concerns about that decision. So, the first issue is that the politicians who brought this case claimed they had constitutional concerns, but their alleged constitutional scruples don't really make any sense. The government has power to use force against those who disagree with it. If you think a law is wrong, the government can use violence to force you to follow it or lock you up for breaking it. You also have no choice about paying for the policies of the current government. If you like the government's policy on harsher sentences for, for burglars and dislike the welfare state, you can't fund one policy and not the other. If you try to withhold some of the taxes imposed by the government, the government will ultimately lock you up for refusing to pay. This makes the government extremely dangerous because they can use violence to make you do stuff. A constitution is a set of rules that constrains how the government can use force. Part of that constraint is that the constitution should specify some means by which the government can be held accountable and dismissed for incompetence or malice. So you can't plead a constitutional principle to stop the government from taking an action that will help restore accountability. Now, the European Union is an organisation that gives EU officials power without accountability. For an explanation of why that's the case, see the links in the description. It includes a link to a video in which I explain this. The EU also damages the accountability of British MPs because they have to pass laws to implement European directives. Since politicians can't control what the EU does, they have excuses for failing to carry out promises to their constituents. So leaving the EU will make the British government more accountable. And such claiming constitutional principles about leaving the EU makes no sense. Now, the excuse given by the court for this ruling is that leaving the EU will allegedly take rights away from British people. But that's rubbish. The EU takes away rights from British people by passing laws that stop people from dealing with one another voluntarily. For example, if an employer wishes to hire you only in condition that you work more than 40 hours a week, he is not allowed to do this according to the EU's Working Time Directive. His right to choose terms in which he deals with people has been taken by the EU. That's not an increase in rights for him. Nor is it an increase in rights for people who want to work those hours. Given the legal issues involved, employers will be less willing to offer people willing to work more than 40 hours a week what they want. They can't make your employment conditional on working more than 40 hours a week, so they have to deal with changing their arrangements if you suddenly decide that you want to work less than 40 hours a week. So, this directive takes rights away from both employees and employers. So, the stated reason for this ruling, that the EU, leaving the EU, will take away rights, doesn't make any sense. Because the EU is a body that takes away rights. 